<gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. your books I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window <laughs> and you keep it here well do okay. me a favor sonny I could really use a tune right now coconut number six in the jukebox I'd do it myself but both of my legs have gone to sleep bad circulation yeah are you serious Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! <laughs> you put the lime in the coconut. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This... Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> the Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. No, I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier.
For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope them into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phone's car. You're on KBFFM. The power cable goes to that shed over there. old generator had been connected to the power cable. The lights are on! Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. The island sure had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that. That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! What the hell? Alan! Help me! Alan! Alice? Ah! Alice? Oh, no! 